John Nachdorf, ISSA Director of Government Affairs, stated at an ARCSI town, town hall meeting last week that an owner can make hiring easier with training. He went on to suggest focusing on retention. He said, quote, retention is critical now. Make the position less of a job and more of a career, unquote. I do not profess to have the expertise of a John Northdorf, but I do agree retention from the first day on is the key to having a staff of 60 cleaning homes like I did in 2008. If you have not heard of or taken the professional house cleaning program, which I have, I recommend you visit arcsi.org slash phc and take a look at it. It is the perfect and professional way to keep your cleaners engaged and therefore still working for you while simultaneously alleviating a lot of costly errors cleaners make using the wrong product, tool, or action when performing their duties, simply because they have not been trained. So that leaves just one question. What do you do about the first day of training? How do you train the basics? How do you present the perfect and professional first day house cleaning training program? Or maybe we need to back up even one more step. For many companies, attrition happens between the interview and the applicant showing up for their first day of work. They don't come. Ouch. What happened? Today, most companies do a great and professional job of interviewing. Some hire on the spot and slide right into a very professional onboarding process so they don't need to do it on their first day of work. Some owners think that giving the applicant more great information about their company will get the applicant to actually show up for the first day of work. If you pay them for that onboarding, it certainly won't hurt. It will give them an incentive to show up the first day of work, and it sounds like we need some more win-win incentives. If you don't want to take a chance of onboarding them because legally you do have to pay them when they don't show up for their first day of work, but do show up on payroll day wanting to be paid for that onboarding. It takes a very special owner to go through that one with a smile. Not to mention the fact that you've wasted a lot of time onboarding this person who has no intentions of working for you and never did work for you. I suggest sending the new hire home with a link to house cleaners training. They will get paid for watching it upon successful completion of the test that they will take the next day as soon as they get to the office. Or they can take it online at home and bring the answers into the office and you can check them then. If they prefer to wait until the next day to complete their initial training, that's fine too. For some, this will seem like easy, easy money, and they will complete the online courses the night before, be before they even ever come to the office the next day. And they'll be quite excited when they arrive because of the professional training they just received, and they've already earned some money. Now you have a trainee standing in your office who is eager and ready to go clean houses, who already knows your process, your products, tools, and actions for cleaning a bathroom, kitchen, or how to dust, depending upon what you assign to them. I do recommend you have them watch only one area and then train that area for the first day of work. Giving them an opportunity to learn just one area gives them a chance to pick up some speed when given a full day of experience in one area. Focus training is always more successful and online training means you don't need to teach them everything in one day because you don't have to bring them back into the office again to watch the videos. I understand that it's costly and time consuming. Now they can watch the videos at home the evening before you want them to clean that next area. At home training will save so much time. If you did not onboard right after the interview, now, after onboarding and giving them the HR professional information and completing all the forms you need to complete, you can get right at the first home and start the field training because they've already been house clean trained. If you are still dark age training by having your trainees watch someone clean and then that cleaner watches the trainee clean, 
there is no longer a need for trainees to watch anyone clean because they have already watched a professional cleaner clean while completing the online lessons, as well as learning your products, tools, and actions in the manual, so there is no need to show them that again either. The process for cleaning a home is generic and used in every company interested in efficiency, top to bottom, one direction around the room. It seems simple, but it is not. And the best time to teach process is before they ever pick up a cleaning cloth. If they know process and your products, tools, and actions before they ever step foot into a home, there is simply no need to watch another cleaner cleaning. You can start by watching them. They know the process, where to start and what to do next. They've learned your products, tools, and actions in Lesson 3 in the online manual. As long as you've edited the manual and keep it updated with your current products, tools, and actions. It's just like teaching someone how to use new software. This Once a trainee has been trained everything they need to know, it's time to get their fingers on the keyboard. It might even be a mistake to have them watch anyone else who might confuse them by doing things their way. Which brings up a very important point and issue. Be sure the person doing the watching while training has studied the training program and process, tools, products, and actions, and knows all of them as well as the new trainee knows them. It is then as simple as watching the employee and only asking them, what do you miss? If they miss something. But be sure to ask them that after they missed it. After all, you or your trainee will not be there to ask them what they missed forever, so why tell them what they missed now? Ask them. Ask them so they get in the habit of following the process and not ever missing anything without you standing there watching them. If you are like many offices today, everything is so professional except the actual house cleaning training process. If you are still using the show and tell method of training, where everything takes place in the home, even if it's your home, I recommend you consider upgrading today. As I said, most companies have upgraded everything else in their company except the actual house cleaning training process, which could be the most important thing you do at your company. Why not upgrade? Who knows? Maybe it will even help to build a bridge between the interview and the applicant actually showing up for work the first day. Some of you will ask, where do I start running an online professional house cleaning training program? How do I find the time? I recommend you start by taking the easy road and visiting www.housecleaningtraining.com and use a pre-prepared professional house cleaning training kit that you can edit and make your own. Take out our products, our tools, and actions, and put in yours like a Word document. But regardless of how you upgrade, I encourage you to do so and wish you the best of luck. Thanks for your time, and I look forward to chatting with you soon at www.housecleanerstraining.com.